The years leading up to true adulthood are some of the most critical years in a person's life. It's during this period when you truly start to figure out who you are. For many teens, graduating high school not only marks the end of a school era, but an end of childhood as well. For most young adults, going to college will be the first time they left home for an extended period of time. This life-changing experience will test everything they know, all the way down to their core values and beliefs. As exciting as living on your own may sound, it can be quite terrifying at times. It's almost like you turn into a full-blown adult overnight. Things you didn't know you had to worry about, like saving money, cooking dinner, and living a healthy life, now seem like a full-time job. I'm Mike with List25, and luckily, there are quite a few college hacks that can save you time, money, stress, and multiple headaches. If you find this list helpful, please feel free to share it with your high school pals and college classmates. There isn't much space when it comes to dorm living. That's why it's important to utilize every inch you have. Instead of buying a bulky filing cabinet, try using a small dish rack instead. Place your files in the area that would normally hold plates. This new and improved way to store files will help you stay organized and keep your desk neat and tidy. You can also store pens and pencils in the area that would normally hold utensils. 24. When you're a college student, you don't normally have extra money lying around. One great way to cut your monthly expenses is by doing your own highlights and touch-ups. Simply spraying your hair with a mixture of water and lemon juice before you leave your house can help lighten its color. Or, if you have roots showing, try covering them up with eyeshadow or mascara. 23. Once you graduate high school, counting down the days until college starts may seem like a lifetime. However, once you finally begin your college experience, you may find yourself feeling homesick. Decorating your dorm is a vital part of the college experience. You want to make sure you make your new home as comfortable as possible. Hanging up pictures and bringing some familiar items with you can make your dorm feel like a home away from home. 22. One rule of being a college student is this. Never say no to free food. If you visit your grandma and she wants to send you home with leftovers, just take them. You'll regret it later if you don't. Another great way to stock your fridge is to take an empty container when you go to the cafeteria. Instead of throwing away your half-eaten sandwich, save it for later. And don't forget to grab extra napkins on your way out. 21. Shopping at thrift stores is a great way to find cheap, unique items. One of the exciting things about shopping at secondhand stores is that you'll never know what you may find. As the saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Also, try selling your unwanted clothes to your local Plato's Closet. The secondhand clothing store is a modern take on Goodwill or Salvation Army. They'll pay you cash for your gently used clothing items. They're also known for selling name brands on the cheap. 20. Many of the people you'll meet in college will be nice and genuine, but that doesn't mean you should trust everyone. Always stay aware of your surroundings, no matter how well you may think you know someone. Buying a laptop lock and security cable is just an extra precaution to keep your valuables safe. They range anywhere from $10 to $25 and are typically easy to install. 19. The Freshman 15 is not an urban legend. In fact, it's very likely for college freshmen to gain anywhere between 5 and 15 pounds during their first year. This happens because students are eating later at night and they have more access to unhealthy food options. The single choice of taking the stairs instead of the elevator will force you to stay active. Also, staying aware of what you eat can help you save money in the long run. 18. One of the hardest parts about leaving for college is learning how to live with another person. If you're lucky, you get paired with a roommate who's respectful and considerate. However, there have been more times than not when that isn't the case. Investing in a good pair of earplugs and a sleeping mask will help you tune out the inevitable extra decibels of living in a dorm. Even if your roommate does respect your sleep schedule, preparing with the right sleeping materials will help you get a good night's rest. 17. You will learn over time that some professors are much stricter than others. You can use Rate My Professor as a great tool to help you pick classes and professors. The website allows students to leave a review of what they thought about the course and the teacher. 
you can see what grade the student earned, if the course goes heavy on the reading and writing, or if the professor offers extra credit or grade curves. 16. Drop what you're doing and download the Quizlet app now. Quizlet is a mobile and web-based studying tool that can save your life, or at least improve your grades. It provides pre-made flashcards for certain courses, learning tools, games, and study guides. More than 50% of the university students in the United States are using this application. What does this mean? At least one of your courses is bound to be on the application. 15. College parties are known for cheap alcohol and sugary chasers. Those two items mixed together make for a wicked hangover in the morning. If you plan to drink, stay hydrated with water throughout the night. Another great way to keep from getting a hangover is by sticking to the same alcohol beverage all night. If you start by drinking beer, don't switch to heavy liquor like vodka or gin. 14. When you have a limited amount of spending money, sometimes you have to decide whether something is really a necessity. Having a great tan in the winter isn't vital, but it might be something you don't want to live without. A spray tan can cost anywhere between $25 to $50. However, making a DIY tan lotion is a cheap alternative to keep your summer glow during those cold seasons. All you have to do is mix one third cup of pure cocoa powder into one half cup of unscented white lotion. Stir the mixture thoroughly to break up any clumps. Then smooth the tanning lotion all over your body and make sure to rub it in evenly. 13. Talking to new people isn't only a great way to network, but it's also good for the soul. You'll never know who you might meet that'll make a lasting difference. Some connections you make in college can even help you get a job after graduation. Also, creating friendships with classmates will come in handy when it's time to form study groups. Or, if you can't make class one day, you can always text one of them to ask what you missed. 12. It's always a good idea to have a drawer full of free things you come across. When you're in the cafeteria, snag a couple of extra eating utensils and napkins. Or if you go to a school function and they're handing out flash drives or pens, ask if you can take more than one. You'll never know when those things will come in handy. The, try not to go overboard. You don't want to turn into a hoarder. But collecting useful items can prove beneficial. 11. Many businesses seem to be aware of the struggle that goes with being a college student. Companies like Amazon, Spotify, T-Mobile, eSurance, Jiffy Lube, and 24-Hour Fitness all offer student discounts. Sometimes, all you have to do is ask about it or flash them your university ID card. Even if you're only saving a few dollars here and there, that money does add up. Free trials are a totally different story because most people forget to cancel them. 10. College textbooks seem to be getting more and more expensive. There are even students who take out separate loans just to pay for course materials. One of the best ways to save money is by renting your college textbooks. You can do this from either a local bookstore or from Amazon. Amazon offers students a discounted Prime membership that includes free two-day shipping. You then have options to extend your rental or choose how many semesters you want to keep it for. 9. Before you go up to do a presentation, give a few of your friends in the class a list of questions to ask you. This will help give the impression that you thoroughly researched the subject. It's also one of the best ways to impress your professor. Teachers will not only be happy that students are engaging in the class, but that you actually know what you're talking about. Maintaining good eye contact and having note cards with bullet points to remember what you're talking about also helps. 8. College life is extremely busy. Sometimes you don't even have time to eat, let alone do laundry. However, leaving your room a mess or allowing laundry to pile up does cause your room to smell a little. A quick fix to minimize the stench is lining your AC unit or fan with dryer sheets. This will blow out a clean linen smell that'll mask any other foul scents. 7. What college student hasn't gotten tired of having ramen noodles as part of their daily diet? With just a couple of ingredients, you can transform a tired dish into a new creation. Try adding any of the following to the boiling water before you add the noodles. Green onions, diced, corn, maybe spinach, crushed red pepper, sesame seeds, soy sauce, an egg. You'll never go back to the old way of eating ramen again. 
Six. There is nothing worse than drinking warm beer. Before you give your guest a drink, you can cool it down with a damp paper towel. All you have to do is wrap the bottle in a wet paper towel or rag and then place it in the freezer. The drinks should be ice cold in less than 15 minutes. If you're in even more of a hurry, wet the rag in soda water and this should speed up the process. Five. If you're one of the unlucky ones living in a building without proper air conditioning, don't worry. Your days of sweating are officially over. When it's super hot outside, try hanging a cold, damp towel in front of an open window. This will help cool down a stuffy dorm room. You can also place a bowl full of ice water in front of a fan. The fan will blow ice cold air into the room, helping to reduce the temperature significantly. Four. After a while, eating out can get seriously expensive. Or maybe it's one of those days that you just don't feel like leaving the dorm. Scrambled eggs are one of the easiest things to cook in the microwave. Spray a mug with non-stick cooking spray, crack two eggs into the mug. If you have a dash of milk or shredded cheese, you can add it to the mix. Next, place your mug into the microwave for 45 seconds, then take it out and stir. Repeat this step twice to ensure that your eggs are cooked thoroughly. Add some salt and pepper and you have a healthy, quick meal. Three. Coffee is vital throughout the day of a college student. However, it's most important when it's way past your bedtime and you're cramming for a midterm. If you don't have a coffee maker in your dorm, for this hack, all you'll need is a mug, coffee grounds, a coffee filter, rubber bands, and hot water. First, place the coffee filter on top of your mug and secure it with a rubber band. Next, place your coffee grounds into the filter and slowly add the hot water. If you don't have any sugar or creamer, a bar of chocolate or candy can provide a bit of a sweetness. Or add a packet of hot chocolate to turn it into a mocha latte. 2. I know it may be tempting to go out and party all night because you have no curfew anymore, but it's really not healthy for your body. It's a good idea to prioritize your nightly sleep. There's nothing worse than going to class extremely tired. You know your body better than anyone else does. Only you know how many hours of sleep your body needs in order to function. Some people only need six hours of sleep per night. Others need as much as nine or 10 if they wanna function well the next day. One, some people say that their four years of college were some of the best times of their life. The connections you make and the memories you create will last a lifetime. That's why it's so very important to appreciate every second, even the not so nice ones. Before you know it, you'll be graduating, looking for a job, getting married and starting a family. College is a time when you can be selfish and do all the things you love to do just because you can. So people who have experienced college, what other advice do you have for the people just entering or about to enter? Let us know in the comments below or tweet your answer to us at list25. Also, you know what? What was your favorite college memory? Hey guys, don't forget to join us this Saturday and Sunday, November 2nd and 3rd, starting at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time for our Extra Life live stream event, which we'll be hosting right here on our YouTube channel. A couple of friends and I will be streaming some tabletop gaming like Star Wars, D&D, Fallout, and possibly video games for 24 hours straight to help raise money for Shan's Hospital here in Gainesville, Florida through the Children's Miracle Network. Please make sure to tune in, join us, and help us raise money by donating whatever you can. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me on Twitter at Michael B. Estrin. Really hope to see you there. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button on the bottom right and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new ones every Monday through Friday. Share them with friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.